Sometimes it feels like every month there's a new release that I end up quitting due to game-breaking glitches. This month's candidate is Little Bug, a haunting new platformer that reminds me of a nightmarish version of Bionic Commando. The problem is that the game has a misleading title. The issue isn't that it has a little bug, but rather that it has one giant game-ending bug that makes it impossible to complete the story. It's just another tragic example of a terrible thing happening to an otherwise great game. The little bug in question is a young girl with a big imagination named Naya. She's an adventurous soul that isn't afraid of getting dirty and playing with roadkill. This is clearly not something her mother understands, and it seems to be one of the many things they fight about back at home. That's enough to make Naya want to be left alone for good, which is exactly what happens when she's quite literally dropped into a weird fantasy world. It's an immediately captivating setup that will ultimately lead to some real revelations for our little hero. The important thing you need to realize about Little Bug is that it's actually Bionic Commando. Okay, so it doesn't have Rad Spencer killing Hitler, but the central gameplay conceit is surprisingly similar to Capcom's classic 1988 action game. Naya can't jump and has limited moves, so her only chance of surviving this strange and hostile world is to use an energy grappling hook to get around. As strange as it sounds, the thing you grapple with is actually a manifestation of Naya's words. What's more, you control this floating spirit and position it in a way that will allow the titular hero to make it to the next checkpoint. And that's really the goal of this entire game, to get from one checkpoint to the next without falling into a bottomless pit or getting smacked by one of the many red hands. And it's not just Naya that has to worry about those enemies, because the floating spirit I just mentioned can also die by hitting the red bad guys. Now, being able to control both Naya and the object she grapples with at the same time is an interesting twist on this type of platformer, and it allows the developers to come up with a lot of unique obstacles. There's no doubt that a lot of the challenges are incredibly difficult, but they're also fair and rarely frustrating. A lot of this comes down to how well Naya controls in the air, and how fun it is to just swing around. There's certainly a learning curve to the gameplay, and you'll probably die in a lot of silly ways before getting it down. But it's also a lot of fun when you've mastered the dual stick controls and the swinging works to your advantage. So, if it sounds like I like this game, it's because I do. I like the look of the game and how it controls. I like the story and the dreamlike backgrounds. I like the music and the atmosphere. Hell, I even like the little blurbs you get when you pick up the numerous collectibles. And yet, despite all these things that I like, I'm gonna have a hard time recommending Little Bug in its current state. For as much as I was into everything about this game, I simply couldn't beat it due to a game-breaking bug. Let me set the scene. There comes a point when you're so far in the sky that you're walking on clouds. That's a part where you're supposed to move both Naya and the floating spirit through a complicated maze. This is already a difficult challenge, but it's made impossible when you realize that you can fall right through the floor. And the problem is that you don't simply die, but rather the game holds on the background just to remind you that you've completely exited the level. The only way to restart from the checkpoint is to completely exit back to the main menu and load from a save. What's frustrating is that the floor I fell through was actually solid a few minutes before. But even then, I was still running into the problem where I wouldn't die from hitting the red hands and instead fell out of the level and had to reload the game from the main menu. And without being able to stand on the very important platform, there's absolutely no way to complete the stage. I was stuck. So what I did was I restarted the game from the very beginning in hopes that the same thing wouldn't happen again. But wouldn't you know it, the same thing did happen again. And I got to the point where I just had to give up. I wasn't able to complete Naya's adventure or see all this game had to offer. And that's disappointing. Maybe one day I will, and all the things I love about Little Bug will wash away the bad taste of the game-breaking glitches. But until that happens, buyers beware. Little Bug is a fun and imaginative 2D platformer that is ultimately brought down by some game-breaking bugs. I was completely taken by the personal story, the haunting levels, and the creative obstacles. There's just so much here that I want to recommend, and yet the glitches found in the current state of Little Bug make that impossible. I have a hunch that this will be a game that I eventually recommend, but it's gonna take a really good patch for that to happen.
Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. So here's the question I have for you. What's the worst bug you've ever encountered? This is honestly a tough one, because I review so many games at launch that I'm constantly running into crazy bugs. I'm sure there are a lot I'm forgetting about, so I can't wait to see your picks in the comments below. In other news, you should expect an early review of Finding Light tomorrow. If you grew up playing Game Boy RPGs, then you should be excited for this one. In the meantime, I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.